When you go to countries like South Korea or Japan and you feel a little peckish, you can go to one of those convenience stores like 7-Eleven, Lawson, CU, any of those places and get an actual good meal from those places. Like if you go to 7-Elevens here in the States, uh, you can get like a slice of pizza and a hamburger slider or something like that, but not really filling. One of the sandwiches that you can get at a 7-Eleven in Japan is called tamago sando. Tamago meaning egg and sando is sandwich in Japanese. And the way it's made, all the ingredients that are used to make it, makes it a memorable sandwich. And so today we're going to recreate the 7-Eleven tamago sando on this channel. You ready? What's up y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to make the tamago sando. The ingredients that we're going to use today are of obviously hard boiled eggs. Uh, to make an egg salad sandwich, you need hard boiled eggs. We're going to use a Kewpie mayonnaise, different than American mayonnaise because American mayonnaise, they use the whites and the yolk of the egg. In Japan, they only use the yolk. So it's a little bit creamier and a little sweeter too. So with the tamago sando, you're going to need two hard boiled eggs, a tablespoon of Kewpie mayonnaise, and we're going to also use one teaspoon of either milk or cream Cream preferably, if you don't have it on hand in the fridge, just go ahead and use milk. We're going to use a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, a quarter teaspoon of sugar, and then two slices of shokupan bread. If you don't have shokupan bread, use something like Texas toast. It, it could be a good compromise or brioche. And some room temperature butter. The, the butter makes the sandwich. So without further ado, a very simple recipe, but also fun and tasty. So let's go to the kitchen and start cooking it up. Okie dokie, so get yourself some water, some eggs, put it on high for the temperature. I'm gonna use my little um, indicator for hard boiled eggs. Obviously this cat has to go to all white just so I know it's hard boiled. Along with the water, I am also going to use some vinegar because the vinegar, the shells of the eggs are calcium, right? So the vinegar is gonna add some acid to help break down the eggshells. So when you're getting ready to crack them, you're not getting, it's, it's not difficult to crack the eggs open. So this process is gonna take a little while because we gotta let it boil and then we gotta make sure that they're hard boiled as well. And you can see here the eggs are boiling, right? I'm gonna take out this egg timer and show you. See how it's getting all white right here? That's what you're looking for. You gotta get it all the way just completely white basically. So the cat has to submerge in the water for a little while longer. After you do this, after you get all these eggs hard boiled, you've got to put them in a ice bath so that they can cool down and stop the process process of overcooking because you don't want those yolks to get like that little gray film on there. You you want them either bright orange or yellow so that they look presentable. A lot of the Japanese cooking, remember, is presentation because your appetite is not just the smell and the taste and your stomach grumbling, but it's also how it looks. Alrighty righty daddy. So the eggs are obviously boiling in their hot water and vinegar mix. I'm gonna find my little egg timer. They flipped over. <laughs> The egg is getting to a medium hardness right now, so we, we've got to get this cat to be all, all white. Now, we're going to go over here because I've got some other stuff prepped that we can do while this is still cooking. Okay, so since the eggs are still boiling, I've got two slices of shokupan bread. What we're going to do is cut off the edges of the bread, okay? As close to the crust as possible just so you have more surface area for the egg salad. There we go, look at that, huh? And yeah, that's some construction work right there. Tell you what, do the second slice of bread. Take the crust off. Make it a little bit more even. You can do whatever you want with the crust. I will probably eat these because they are delicious. Eggs are almost hard boiled. Okay, so we're also going to get this room temperature bre uh, butter bread and put it on the bread. That's what I'm trying to say. There we go, nice. You want to get as much surface area as possible. The butter mixed with the Kewpie mayonnaise and the sugar and the kosher salt. Ah, oh, makes such a good 
sandwich. Okay, first one's done. Get on to the second. Slather it all over. Very nice. Okay, bread is buttered. Nice. Now over here, this is done. I've got my egg bath ready, or my, <laughs> I've got my ice bath ready. I'm just gonna take these eggs and drop it like it's hot. And here, check this out. The egg timer, completely white. It's done, it is done. Thank you, egg cat timer. We're gonna put you over there so you can cool down just like these eggs. Okay, so I've got a couple hard boiled eggs done. I'm going to cut inside here. Get the yolk out. There you go, huh? A little bit of yellow there and a little bit of orange. Dump it there into a bowl. And then we'll make our mix. Keep the egg whites as much formed, as, you know, in uniform as possible because you are going to, we're going to dice them into nice pieces. Oh, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> Plop that in there. So we're going to keep those egg whites there for now. And then we're going to work with this, which is what we have to do with the mixture coming right up. Here we go. So we've got the Kewpie mayonnaise. Looks like that. We're going to do two tablespoons of Kewpie mayonnaise. And two. Probably gonna have to get your finger in there and just get it out because this is thicker mayonnaise, right? That Kewpie has a tang to it, definitely. All right, we need a teaspoon of milk or cream. I'm using cream. Here we go. Quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Here we go. In. We also need sugar, which I forgot. Quarter teaspoon of sugar. In. Very nice, very nice. So really, all you're going to do is just mash this together and mix it up. The egg yolk is what you want to mix the most with the ingredients. And then the egg whites, that's just going to be a little icing on the cake, really. Or icing on the sandwich, I guess. So I'm incorporating all that stuff in there. The cream, the sugar, the salt. They have it nice and creamy. Now, for the egg whites. So with the egg whites, this is all I'm going to do. Chop them up like so. So you're looking for kind of like these kind of pieces and some can be larger, some can be smaller. Uniformly, that's kind of what you want to look for the, as far as the side. Put it inside here, all the egg whites in. Now, just incorporate loosely like this, okay, with the eggs. You don't want to mash it all up. You, uh, you want to see those chunks of the white yolk, not the yolk, the whites, egg whites. <laughs> now, some people can uh, use pepper and all that, but I'm looking for a clean texture, right? I'm not going to add any of that peppery stuff on there today. And then there you go. You go from here, plop it on there off the side, because remember, it's about presentation. I don't need all the egg yolk, all the egg mixture. That's looking pretty good, because the next step we're going to do is cut this into thirds. Butter side onto the eggs. Okay, now we're going to cut it into thirds I'm using a serrated knife just to ease through. I don't want anything too bunched up, you know what I mean? There we go. And you see how we do it, folks? There you go. A recreation of the 7-Eleven Tamago Sando that you can get in Japan. Pretty much any 7-Eleven store. All right, you ready? Let's have a taste. Okay, here it is. Yep, that's exactly how I remember the taste being at those 7-Eleven convenience stores in Japan. In Yokohama, in Tokyo, it has enough of that salt, the kosher salt, only a quarter teaspoon. And you can you can just taste that right there on your tongue because of the kosher salt being a little bit thicker, right? In in the in the granule. And then the sugar, you can't really taste it as much, which is okay because it shouldn't be that sweet. Honest to goodness thing that makes this is the QP mayonnaise. It's fabulous. It's basically egg yolk on egg yolk. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. The Tamago Sando from 7-Eleven convenience stores in Japan. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. Click subscribe. Click on the notification bell. I'll let you know I came out with another video for y'all. See you guys next time. Peace.